Hello and welcome. We're to solve this problem together, but first, give it a shot on your own. You can do it. All right, so let's read it. The system of equations is shown below. This is our system, right? That means a collection of equations. They want to know what's true about the point negative 6, 8. Is it a solution to one or the other or neither of these um, equations, or is it a solution for the whole system? What does all this mean? It just means if you plug in negative 6 for x, right, and you plug in 8 for y, if you plug into the first equation and the second equation, and it works for both, and I'll, by work, I mean it, it balances the equation. I'll show you what I mean. But if you do that, it's a solution for the whole system. It's a solution for both equations. Um, but it is possible that I can just balance one equation and not the other. So essentially, in this problem, we're just plugging in x and y to both equations to make sure we know what's going on. So let's do that. I'm going to write this down here. 5x plus 3y is negative 6. So x is negative 6, right? 5 times negative 6 plus 3 times y, which is 8. Does this equal negative 6? Let's see. Well, 5 times negative 6, that's negative 30. And 3 times 8 is 24. If I add these two, yes, I get negative 6. Right, negative 6. It's balanced. So that means that this point is a solution for the first equation because it works. It balances the equation. In the second um, one, we have oh, it's down 2x plus y is equal to negative 4. Does 6, negative 8 work here as well? Let's plug it in. Oh, sorry, negative 6, 8. So negative 6 for x and 8 for y. What does this equal? Well, 2 times negative 6. Well, that's negative 12. Plus 8. Does that equal negative 4? Well, yes, it does. Negative 4 is equal to negative 4, right? So here, this point... We plugged it into both equations and it worked for both. That means it is a solution to the system. So, right, solutions or solution to the system? Well, the answer has to be A. Why? Well, I think it has to be A, right? Um, how do I know? So, when you essentially, <laughs> let me think about the fastest way to explain this, uh, the clearest way to explain this, excuse me. All right, so if we have a graph, right? You have to imagine for a moment we're graphing these lines. Let's make the, uh, the first equation 5x plus 3y equals negative 6. Let's make that a blue line on this graph. So I'm just going to reorder it to mx plus b format, isolate y. So 3y equals negative 6 minus 5x, divide everything by 3, and y equals negative 2 minus 5 thirds x. This tells me you have a negative intercept here, negative 2, and a negative slope. So it's a line like this. Okay, then in the second equation, I use, I use red. Um, so in this equation, I'm just going to rewrite it in y equals mx plus b form by subtracting 2x. y equals negative 4 minus 2x. This is the way I like to analyze it. You can, you can make a table. You can do different ways. I'll talk about a few ways. So here, the intercept's negative 4, a little bit lower. Different intercept and different slope, negative 2. So um, this slope's a little bit steeper, right? Um... Jeez, it's not the best graph. Let me just do this down here. So sorry, this graph is way off because I'm just estimating. But because we know essentially this is a lower y-intercept but a steeper slope, right? You're falling down the hill faster. Um, so these are two lines. And if you notice, they only meet once. They meet up here. Now this point where they meet is supposed to be our answer. It's negative six eight, and that's why I'm apologizing. It doesn't look like negative six eight, but just pretend for a moment it's not the scale. The idea is that this point is where the two lines meet, and that's the solution for both lines. So I know it's the only solution because these two lines, once they cross with different slopes, they're not going to cross again. So there's only one solution. It could be, let me just do some other sketches, you could have a situation, two other situations. It could be there's no solution to the system. Um, that means there's no point that works for both. That would happen if two lines have equal slopes. So if you have, let's say, a y-intercept of 2, another y-intercept of negative 3, but the slopes are both the same. Let's say the slopes are both two. Well, if this happens, if you have two different intercepts, but the equal slopes, there's not gonna be any point that works for both. Uh, the third scenario is that you have two lines, let's say the same slope, and the same intercept. In fact, that means they're the same line, right? They're on top of each other. That's called collinear, right? Collinear. And that means every point works on both of them. So plug any points Excuse me, any point on one line works on the other. So any point that you have that works for one of the lines will work for both. Parallel is when they have the same slope and different intercepts. There's no points that work for both. And here you essentially have two lines with different slopes. 
Um, and once you have two lines of different slopes, they can only meet once, so the slopes are different. All right, so to retract, what kind of happens? We, we know there's a point that works for both of them. We're trying to figure out, is it the only solution, <coughs> or is there, are there multiple solutions? And you have to, in order to establish if it's the only solution, all you have to do is figure out, do they have different slopes? If they have different slopes, then there's only going to be one solution. If they have the same slope, right, so whatever way you're comfortable finding slope, my methodology was mx plus b. If they have the same slope, you've got to figure out, are they the same line? Are they collinear? In that case, this would be one of many solutions, or excuse me, one of infinite solutions. If the slopes are the same but the intercepts are different, then uh, you know there's not going to be any solutions that work for both, right? Because at no point, literally, at literally no point, are the two lines equal to each other. Anyway, so that was, that was my way of thinking about it. Essentially, see if the point works for both equations and then compare the slopes and go from there. All right, thanks.